I trust all of you keeping safe and sound. Today I'll be talking about our moon Luna. Being 384,400 kilometers from Earth, it's just over 25% of Earth's diameter. Once every month it orbits our Earth. Each orbit takes approximately one month, which means 27.3 days. It is just 3,474 kilometers across. Also, the moon spins round once on its axis in exactly the same time, so that it keeps the same half facing Earth. aware the moon is the brightest object in the night sky and being a rocky celestial object it doesn't give any light all by itself it is not a star at all it shines because the surface reflects sunlight one half of the moon is lit by sunlight while the other is pitch dark However, as it travels around Earth, different amounts of the sunlit side are seen. This is why the moon seems to change shape. These are called the phases of the moon. Have you all heard a myth is existing like this? It's the myth which says that the moon is made of cheese. And before a crescent moon day, a mouse goes to it and nibbles a huge amount of the moon. And then the crescent moon reveals. This is not true at all. The moon isn't made of cheese. No one, even a mouse, goes to it and nibbles a huge piece of the moon. This is just a myth and we are not here to talk about myths. We are here to talk and explore about the reality and cosmos. Do you know what's the lunar month? It is the time between one full moon and the next. This is slightly longer than the time the moon takes to orbit our habitable planet Earth. Habitable planet means a planet which is suitable for life because it's also moving. If we are talking about the moon's atmosphere, the moon has almost none and its surface is simply dust, pitted with craters by space rocks smashing into the surface in its history as I have told you earlier. Scientists believe the moon formed after a mass-sized rock. Some say it was the planet Thea collided with the Earth to form the moon. This collision made Earth very good. Now we shall discuss about the phases of the moon. There are five main phases called new moon, waxing crescent moon, first quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, and last is full moon. During the first half of each monthly cycle, the moon waxes or appears to grow from a crescent-shaped new moon to a full. During the second, it wanes or dwindles to a crescent-shaped old moon. And then comes the dark new moon. On the moon's surface, there are large patches referred to as seas because that's what ancient people believed. Those are not seas which contains fresh water like on earth. They are actually the flat plains of lava flows from ancient volcanoes that were on the natural satellite. The sound of the moon that is always turned away from earth is called its far side or mistakenly the dark side because during a new moon phase the side is almost filled with sunlight. More 
Most of the craters on the moon were formed during a period of meteoroid collision, something called the late heavy bomb. These explosive gunshots of space rocks were followed by about 600 million years of volcanic activity when scarlet colored lava flooded out to cover the lunar seas. Everybody knows the name given to the nearest large crater? It is Tycho. It was formed 110 to 105 million years ago and has a diameter of 84 kilometers or approximately 52 miles. And there's something special to tell you. That is, the moon's the only face that humans have ever visited. Here's an image of Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong's footprint on Luna. Now we are going to talk about the probes which have visited our moon Luna. A moon probe is just like a Martian moon which is a spacecraft that lands, orbits or releases any robotic equipment such as rovers and impactors. Luna 1, Luna 2, Luna 9, US Apollo missions, India's Chandrayaan 1, US Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite or LCR OSS are some of the moon missions sent to it. Now we are going to discuss about the eclipses of the moon. Eclipses can occur when the sun, moon and the earth align. Lunar eclipses can only happen during the full moon phase. When the moon and sun are on opposite sides of earth, the moon could move into the shadow cast by the earth, resulting in a lunar eclipse. However, most of the time the moon's slightly tilted orbit brings it above or below the shadow of earth. The time period when the moon, the earth and the sun are lined up on the same plane, allowing the moon to pass through earth's shadow is called an eclipse season. Eclipse seasons last about 34 days. When full moon occurs during an eclipse season, the moon travels through the Earth's shadow, creating a lunar eclipse. In a total solar eclipse, the moon passes directly in front of the sun, completely covering it so that its corona can be seen. Corona? Ah! Got scared? No, not to worry. This is not the coronavirus. It's a layer of the sun's atmosphere. The virus can't be seen. I need to tell you the difference between a lunar and a solar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is when it passes into Earth's shadow Earth is in the middle of Sun and Moon. A solar eclipse is when the Moon passes in front of the Sun. Hope you understood the difference. I believe that you all could gain something good to your knowledge. I would like to come up with another super interesting video soon. Until then, stay safe and do take care. Please don't forget to subscribe Cellular Space so that you can be notified when I release a new video. Thank you.